Hello ladies and gentlemen, Simon here and we are moving on to episode 5 of Genlock. Um, this show so far has been pretty awesome, it's been fairly dark, but it's just been constant action and excitement. Um, last episode was really good just for a little bit of character development and also just taking the threat of the Union up another notch. We saw that the first half of the episode was kind of like showing us what the, the group would get up to on their sort of downtime. Um, they went into the ether, which is kind of like their virtual reality getaway. And they were going to play some games. Uh, we saw some cool little Easter eggs um, where they were changing sort of you know costumes and learn a little bit about um, Val in terms of she seems to be quite gender fluid um, and transitions back and forth between being Valentina and Val, which is a very interesting little sort of side note. And I wonder if we are going to see her transition uh, during the course of the show. I'm not sure during Warfare there's going to be much time for, um, you know, a transition, but I don't know what kind of technology there is there. Maybe it's not that arduous or it doesn't take that long. We'll find out. Um, and then the second half of the episode, after the Aoife gets sort of attacked... We see them in combat, uh, the first time them going up against the Union forces. And, you know, it was a little bit of a, of a trap, I feel. I think they were just lulled out, sort of lured out um, by a small force of Union soldiers and those little spider tank things. Um, and then out of nowhere, this big mech that is the same sort of size, um, but definitely more powerful than their mechs, showed up Um almost killed Cammy. We saw Cammy's head get ripped off and the chest plate exposed where, you know, the core is. That's where their minds are stored, right in the chest. Um, and it was pretty horrendous. You know, I'm pretty certain that she is going to have a little bit of PTSD just following on from that because, you know, I'm guessing that they do feel everything in these mechs. You know, we, we've already heard about how they um, can feel through them. So, you know, I'm assuming it was a a very realistic experience, you know, no one really knows what it's like having your head ripped off, but Cammy can probably now imagine pretty well how that feels. Um, in the end, they managed to group together to fight off the Big Mech, and, um, you know, obviously the questions now are going to be, well, that was, that was definitely a Union Mech, but how did they get the technology? What was that? You know, where did it go? There's going to be a lot of questions that need to be answered, and I'm getting the feeling that they're not going to have too long to uh, really get the answers, because I don't think the Union are going to sit around long enough for them to sort of analyse any data that they may have gathered on that mech, so let's jump into this next episode, and let's find out what happens. Oh man. Oh man. What is that? Is this a nightmare? Oh, they're like zombie mechs of her friends. I was gonna say, at first I was thinking, what in the hell is that massive cloud? But now I realize it's McCloud's dream. But yeah, definitely PTSD. Which is understandable. The little, the little doggy, robot doggy. She's gonna redesign her armor. Oh, <gasps> is she gonna become like a rabbit? She's gonna make a rabbit mech. Play to your strengths, Cammy. I love it. <laughs> At least they're not pushing her off the bunk anymore. <laughs> he is such a troll. I love it. You miss breakfast. Up now, or you'll miss training. Can he say I'd really miss it? What is it with everyone pulling all nighters all of a sudden? Have you ever seen me sleep? All right, well, maybe you could tell me why the Vanguard still doesn't have any new info on Is he human? We've been out a few times. Union's never thrown anything at us like that. 
and then this one went straight for the brain housing like it knew what it wanted. Yes, I noticed. But no follow up? Nothing? And mm. he's jumping right back He sounds a lot more. Idea. Remember how hard we had to push you? Serious. She's been underperforming, but she'll get there. She has an incredibly flexible mind. Her mind is still in her body. <laughs> her body with ears yep. that can hear. I'd like to point out the irony of hauling my arse out of bed to make sure I'm on time to have a lie down. <laughs> I love it. So more training. That's that's definitely what they need. Yeah, I think she could do with a bit of sharpshooter training. As <laughs> Aim assistance. <laughs> I love that little uh, emoji of the doctor. He's like, nope. Is she hitting them? Oh, oh, she got one. Oh, even her mech face looks sad. She must feel so out of place. Ooh. Ooh, what is she doing? Is she hacking into the, the mech? Is she... No, she can't do that, can she? She can't delete her own memories. What? Oh, don't mess with your own brain. What are you doing, Cammy? Is he gonna he's gonna let it play out? Oi. Let's go. Another round. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Ah uh, she's different. By confidence, did they just mean turn up the anger? Nice. Whoa, what the hell, Cammy? Did she turn up her fighting skills? I thought it was just the confidence. Holy crap. She took a little uh, a leapfrog. A bunny hop. Don't rip his head off. Whatever you do, do not rip his head off. Okay, someone stop her. Someone, doctor, step in. Doctor, pull her. 
But I bet you he likes this aggressive side. I, I bet you he's kind of low-key thinking this is what we need. Kaz, are you all right? <laughs> of course he loves it. Is a process, Kami, not a slider setting. Was just making some improvements. Your improvements, uh. mind with your current state of mind, created a near psychotic feedback loop. Uh, potatoes, potatoes. So it doesn't affect her permanent mind. Does it? Starving. Rewriting yourself. Shameful. You shouldn't have to hack your code to feel better. The rest of us have fought before. We can Imagine if we had access to that, if we could change our minds. We really going to do this? Look, dealing with that thing, it was a wee bit intense. Aye. But isn't that the whole point of going out in a whole lot? That you can take damage like that and not have it matter? Just because you don't take physical damage doesn't mean you're not affected. Dr. Weller stuck mm. his neck out so you could keep training when the Vanguard wanted to ground you. Mental but damage. You're the games all night and you're nearly useless during the day. Who says I'm gaming? She's not. Okay, She's... fine. When I can sleep, there's this dream now. Like, I can't shake it. It's so weird. Is it's... your human body big as a holon and naked? Aye. How do you... Wait, no, I'm, I'm <laughs> naked. <laughs> you're naked? I wasn't naked in mine either. What's up with that? Wait, you have them too? Yeah, but uh... Tell us more about yours, yes? Oh, calm <laughs> yourself. Yes, I was a dozen meters tall, and yes, on clothes, but I didn't have any... Hmm. Breasts. Yeah, <laughs> that was like... Wild dreams yet? You will have I've to been be there. Specific. I dreamt about having a robot body long before I came here, but those had all the right mm, accessories. <laughs> Why would a robot need... Because it's fun. Baker squad, Charlie I love Val. And She's such a free spirit. And on that note, if you like, later I can tell you more about my. No, no, that's all right. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. It may be too soon to go out again. Either your team is functional or they're not. Which is it? If they're not, let me know so I can transfer Chase back. Hey, whoa now. That's uncalled for. Then She's pissed. Started. I see how it is. Yep. What was that about? Vanguard, you should be proud. You've run no less than 18 sorties this month alone. Rescued over 400 You civilians. ever thought about it? Defended what? Against five Returning to the Vanguard. Persons. How would he in his current state? But we're going to shake things up a little with this next mission. We're going on the offensive. Ooh. I like it. Intelligence has identified another window of significant satellite baffling over this sector, just at the edge of no man's land, about 400 miles to our east. The Union really doesn't want us to see what's there, so we are absolutely going in. Before Florida has lost weight, weight, apparently. Scout drones relayed images of an industrial complex. Layout and support facilities suggest manufacturing, perhaps even production of nanotech. Ooh. Like the colonel said, we're going preemptive on this one. Hit them where it hurts. Shot and get out. Baker squad and Genlock team will take out the air defense grid. Charlie squad will move in for a quick look see, confirm our intelligence. Then we take down the AA and paint the joint for an aerial strike. And get the hell out of Dodge fast as we can. That's an affirmative. After having held the line for so long, we're going to cross it. Deal some damage back. I thought they would have wanted to capture the technology. Can you imagine if they could get their hands on nanotech? Got a sec? Oh, man. This brings back memories. Yeah. What if you could return to the Vanguard? Would you? How? I don't know. 
didn't occur to me. Coming back to us didn't occur to you? It's not like that. I can't fight if I'm not in a whole lot. Yeah. What if it wasn't about fighting? You could go command. Command? Who's gonna take orders from a ghost? There are other ways. You've done your part on the battlefield. You've got another shot at life. You call this a life? I don't know if they'll ever figure out how to fix my body. Maybe in a few years, maybe never. But the war's happening now. Right now. I'm guessing he's got more internal injuries than just everything they took from me. Having lost his legs and an arm. They gotta go away. This mission tomorrow morning, that's that's one more morning I wasn't supposed to have. And that's how you want to spend it? There's no mention of his family. Is that a bunny here? Oh. Early start. My apologies for having been so unavailable of late, but you can finally reap the benefits. My crew's been working around the clock prepping Doc's new toys for you. Toys? Enhancements. In light of recent events, we have to up your game as oh. quickly as possible. I have modified a variety of hardware experiments. Weapons. For very first field application. So I can't guarantee perfect performance. Story of the ESU. But they'll give you an edge. Yas, I've already briefed you. Cami, Kazu, Valentina, yours are pretty self explanatory. You can learn in the field. Really? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing from me. Migas already had it covered. You just haven't been. What does he get? Yet? You were meant to fly. Ooh, I like it. We're gonna have a you flying mech. Still cry. <laughs> Aww. Now that is a handy accessory to have. Stealth mode. I have eyes on the facility. Small industrial complex, and I see the defense grid. Good. Let's get this party started. Anvil control. Tell airstrike to stand by. We'll give the all clear as soon as they wait. Oh. New guests joining the party. <gasps> Prisoners. Who the hell is that? Civilians? Human shields? Anvil well, control, are you getting this? Already on it. Colonel. I know. Wait, who is who? that? Quality scientists thought dead since Canaveral was lost. Oh, that's no. how they're getting the tech. And what they're working on. They have. What? They Why have. Uh, Are we not gonna bomb the joint? Politech yeah, scientists. Still gonna blow the hell out of it. <laughs> oh no! No no no! Whenever you guys get like this, we wind up doing. They're gonna go in and rescue them, and then they're gonna blow up. I always wanted a lab with the view. Some peace and quiet. Focus on my work. Never heard me use barbed wire and armed guards. Nice touch. Henry, would you shut huh. up before they kill us all? You think they kept us alive all this time? Dragged us out here if they were just gonna. Okay, I take it back. Well. <laughs> oh. What? Hey, Kazu. What I love it. What are the odds you'd actually go let me get a better look at those? <laughs> Here you go, Paul. Look, all you want. Love it. Oh, man. Front door's open. Wow. Okay. <laughs> See? I think I'm in love. Just run. With Get out of there. Who are you guys? Yeah, we need to run. Oh, oh, she's got a little, a little buddy. Is that aim assist? How come you can't shoot like that normally? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Right, okay, that's good. Prisoners are out of there. 
Whoa! Yes! I like this. I like this very much. <laughs> she gave the finishing touch. <laughs> they are the Gimli and Legolas of this series, confirmed. Yep. Huh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Damn, those robots are fast. Is that Val? Yeah, Val! Yeah! Go on! Go on, Chase! Oh! Nice! Oh, I was going to say, they were still in the car. Come on, Chase, this is your turn. I love it. <laughs> Is it going to be that mech? Yeah, it's the mech again! Um, drive the other way. Uh-oh. Get close, Cammy. They're going to link up. Oh! Yes! Yes! She's taking control. Birthday? Was that Sinclair? Oh, nice shot. But it didn't kill him. Fuck. I can't make out what he's saying. I think that's Sinclair. Uh oh. Whoa. That's the second time he's had to run. They did a lot better this time. Okay, so another appearance by the uh, the Union Mech. I, I I couldn't quite make out what I was saying most of the time, but when I could, it sounded like Sinclair. Now I don't know whether that's the Sinclair that we saw invading, um, you know, infiltrating the facility, the uh, Vanguard facility, or if that's the original Sinclair. 
some of the key points in this is they showed us that you could have your mind and your personality modded through this technology. So I'm sitting there wondering, well, what hap- What if they managed to take Sinclair's mind out of his body, upload him onto their own version of Genlock, and put someone else's brain, like mind into his body? That's the person who we saw undercover. Um, and what if they took his mind and put it into that mech? And they've like messed around with his personality. That's why, you know, that's that's why it sounds like him, even though his physical body is dead. Uh, well, if that was his physical body, the one that we saw in the first episode, first couple of episodes. Um, I don't know. It's just I'm spitballing in my mind here um, and thinking about what the most likely explanations are for why it sounds like it's him. Um I mean, that episode, it was pretty... I mean, it was great that they dealt with the whole PTSD from Cammy. Uh, very realistically, you know, she's having these dreams, obviously from the perspective of what happened to her during the last fight. Um, and she's trying to overcome that with modifications. You know, she we saw that she tried to push up her confidence to fit in with the rest of the team. It's, it's quite clear that she is the odd one out. She is the one who doesn't have combat experience. She's the youngest. She doesn't have any battle experience. Um, you know, and, and I think she is probably the most emotionally vulnerable out of all of them. Um, and she's trying to make up for that. Now, one of the ways that, I mean, experience is going to help, you know, the more she's out there, the more she's going to learn. Um, certainly all of the extra gadgets that the doctor can bring in are going to help, you know, like the drone, um, to give her a better aim. Um, but also her own modifications, which it looks like she's going to turn her mech into like a bunny. Um, which would be pretty cool, you know. Um, I've got a feeling we won't see that maybe until the end of the season, which I think this is only eight episodes long this season, um, which is disappointing, but, you know, hopefully they'll have a longer season too. Um, I don't know, I might be wrong about that. That's something I heard. I heard that it was only eight episodes. Um, so I was really, really happy with the way that they dealt with Cammy and, and her sort of trauma following the events of the last episode. Um... The rest of the episode here, you know, focusing on going on the offensive. It's clear how the Union got their hands on the technology now. They've been kidnapping scientists uh, from the Politico and, and using their brains. Although the scientists seem surprised at the mech, so I don't know if they're necessarily the ones who are working on that. Um, but we don't know who else they may have captured. That's the thing. Um, it's clear that they are wanting to, to sort of figure out how the Vanguard are using this technology. Um, and now that they've destroyed that nano, I mean, I'm surprised the, the, the Vanguard didn't want to learn more about, you know, how nanotechnology works. They apparently had a center that was, you know, focused on that development and they'd rather blow it up than try and learn something about it, which I guess if they're desperate enough, then they just want to get rid of it. But that could have given them a big advantage if they could have learned how to use the nanotechnology themselves. Uh, but it was a really good episode, you know, again. I'm loving the character development. I'm loving the possibilities that they're giving us. Uh, the little hints and the little sort of um, insights into what's to come. And it's just, again, it's just being really well written. And the, the episode's being paced really well. The action's really good. I love all of the little extra bits that, you know, everyone got chased with his wings. Um, you know, the 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 um the sword for kazu it's 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 all going really good and i'm looking forward to seeing where you know this goes so anyway guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you for the next episode